Okay, here's a slight variation on the deltoidal icosatetrahedron. And the idea is here I made the exterior, uh, these guys a little bit bigger than I was planning to, but it makes it kind of an interesting thing. It makes it more look like an octahedron. Um, but uh, anyway, kind of interesting. I'll see if I can make it quickly so, uh, to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> so you start with a um, fairly inflated balloon here, and you're going to make 12. So the first one, make it small, and then make six reasonably large ones. And it's all about consistency. So if you can, the more consistent you can be, the better off your product's going to be here. Okay, so a nice hexagon. Perhaps I, I didn't make them quite big enough, but what are you going to do? Um, let's go with the red. And so now, so remember, um, same sort of thing, small, and then large. Okay, and so now, um, what I'm going to attempt to do is pop this sucker through here and link it up right here. Let's see if I've done this correct. Or I should say, let's see if I planned it. Okay, so I'm trying to get these things on opposite sides. I think I did the right thing. And so now let's try um, to pull in a third balloon here. Okay, and so small and then large. And so my goal is to put this uh, right here. Two more large ones. One, and two. Stick that thing through here. And so I've made a, a now three color uh, one, a triangle. Keep them large. So, let me just show you what I'm looking for here. So, one of these is going to be putting through, and then I've got one up here, and now I need the third balloon, and it's going to make another triangle through all three of these. So, let's see if I can pull this off. <clears throat> so, essentially, small, uh, large. So, that's going to go through my purple one here. Maybe I made that one segment a little bit too large. And now I'm going to go large, large, over to the red. Two more larges. Large. Maybe a little too large again. To the pink. And then finally, a large one here, um, and boom. And so, essentially, what we need to have is for every um, three color triangle, um, what you need is one of these to be pointing inward. And so it looks like that's what we have. So make sure it's pointing into the three, okay? But essentially, you've got a, a tetrahedron, or sorry, an octahedron with a whole bunch of hanging out things. And so now, what we need to do is, um, now there's a couple of strategies we could do, but I think uh, the plan is to do the following. So I'm going to try one, keep these small, ish, because we need five out of that. One, two, three left. It's a little tight. Four. Nine. It's a little tight there. One. Two. Let's 
big, really big, really big. So I'm going to add a little extra on that one. start maybe tying off a few. Maybe tight here. a little bit of massaging if you'd like, but essentially um, that was the plan. So what you can see is the original big triangles there, uh, the purple one, uh, the pink one, and the red one. And so um, those ones and then you have kind of a six balloon path out of each color. So you've seen that before, but <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>